Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your reading. So um, when I was shuffling out the spread, I saw two images. One is like, a, you know, the, the teapot boiling, okay? And, and you know, the, the teapot, it has a whistle to it when it boils. So I hear that whistle. It's, it's, it's almost like this vibration, this, this whistle that is uh, of a really high frequency. And so it's heard by many. And then um, the second thing that I saw was, uh, I, I see this man, he's, um, uh, I don't know, in the background there are mountains, so he's outdoors. Um, there are a bunch of helium balloons that are kind of like tied together, and they're kind of floating, you know, a little bit higher out of reach, out of his reach. But they're just kind of floating a cluster of them. And then uh, there are a bunch of little children, short little kids, you know, just underneath. And then the helium balloons are here, different colors. And uh, he's there with, with his son. So then his son says, oh, I want a balloon. So he puts his son on his shoulders and his son it was able to reach and grab one of the balloons. So his son and then his son descends and, you know, the other kids see this. And they're like, I want balloons too. So they start swarming the man. They started to, you know, climb up his knees, his legs, his um, shoulders, and he was trying to fight them off. Well, not really fight them off, but kind of fend them off or kind of, you know, brush them off. And then he feels bad. So then he uh, puts each one of them on his neck so that they could reach a balloon one after the other and when i saw this i was thinking why doesn't he just uh, grab the the whole bundle of balloons because they're tied together and just distribute them one at a time why does he have to go through the trouble of placing every single child on his shoulders for them to get their own balloons so it's a very interesting imagery so anyways um the thing that really stuck out for me and especially, you know, corroborated in this uh, spread here is this idea of getting swarmed, okay? Getting swarmed, getting um, overwhelmed, feeling like everybody wants a piece of you, okay? But I, I feel, you know, that, that concept, everyone wants a piece of me. Um, it, it feels almost very physical, like very sexual, very physical, but at the same time, it can feel very, very overwhelming, okay? It's almost like you're being pulled in many, many different directions. Everybody needs you. You need to sign this. You need to look over this. You need to come here. You need to take care of this for me. You need to get these things done. So I feel like no matter what capacity you're working in, Everyone wants a piece of you. You're being uh, commandeered to go in different directions. You're being called to um, show up at certain events. You are just pretty much in very, very high demand. And there's just a lot of responsibilities, I feel, imposed upon you. And I also feel like, you know, you, you are a little bit of a bleeding heart where people can do things on their own but I feel almost like you want things to be done right. You want to come to other people's rescue and you're not one to kind of ignore the, the call of uh, distress or distress signals that other people are sending out. So I, I feel like there's this innate sense within you that you want to do things right and you want to help others. But I also feel like, you know, based on the fact that, you know, he, he doesn't just get a bunch of the, the balloons all together and distribute them. I feel like there is a smarter way to do things and whatever your work process involves, maybe there is a way to streamline it, okay? Maybe there's a way to streamline it. Maybe there's a way, maybe there's a different way from what you're used to that will have a more streamlined results, more, it could be more effective. So I feel like look at the, the workflow, look at the processes, look at the procedures, look at the, the actual physical actions that you're doing and figure out, you know, maybe there's a different way to do things. Maybe it doesn't have to be, you know, um, putting every single child on my shoulder so they can grab their own balloons. Maybe I can be the one in charge and distribute, okay? So the energy of taking command of a situation is coming in really very strongly and um, what you have here is the Emperor this is the voice of authority the, the the person that is kind of like the pillar of stability and strength 
in a situation and um, he makes decisions not from a heart not from the heart space or he he can't be emotionally swayed this is somebody who exhibits the energy of you know a person in power a person that is highly regarded um well respected looked up upon but at the same time i feel like you know there is a rigidity here there is a um it's almost like um when we make decisions and we don't think from the heart or we don't use our heart and we rely solely on logic and reason it can isolate a lot of people okay so this is kind of like that um that warning call but i i do feel in general that there is somebody pleading you know can you do this can you do that and i feel like you know there is this exterior this this isn't the exterior so let me show you this somebody pleading you know please turn around please help please listen to what I have to say you know please look at me okay and the the Emperor chooses to turn away to not respond to focus on whatever it is that he feels he needs to focus on which is the ten of Pentacles stability home life kind of like that greater good is what I'm sensing okay so it's it's not somebody that can be swayed by emotion so I don't know if you're dealing with somebody in this situation you are this person that's being pleaded with but I feel like you're you're not moving you're you're not being swayed with that emotional argument and I feel like while this is the facade this is what's going on underneath okay this is a sense of like time is running out there's that hourglass time is running out I'm not getting any younger I need to build a legacy for myself I need to preserve something that is solid and insecure and completely will stand the test of time I need to build kind of like a monument okay time is running out and while he's very very secure on the perp uh, on the surface when dealing with others he feels like this deep inside okay this is an older man um, he's aging you know he he is very well of aware of his sense of mortality and so I feel like there's a huge element here about time is ticking about you know conflict as well opposition conflict feeling like everybody is out out to get me feeling like everyone wants a piece of me feeling like this is a stalemate where it's a perpetual conflict and everyone is kind of fighting you know it's like getting swarmed by that mob of children they're climbing up your legs they're climbing on your shoulders and it, it's feeling overwhelmed and I also feel like overwhelmed by other people's expectations of you you know everyone wants a balloon everyone wants to get ahead to climb up and um, I, I saw like a, a bunch of children like just a bunch of them so probably over a hundred of them they're just little you know um, surrounding this man and so it, it kind of begs to the question as well you know why is he in this valley there are mountains in the background he has his child and then there are a bunch of other children where are their parents what's happening um, so I feel like it could be a situation where um, whoever is tallest whoever is biggest whoever has like the, uh, the, the most amount of physical strength or, or physical capability gets to lead okay and and usually that might not be it, it might be someone who's physically strong but in terms of like that 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 voice of morality or that moral authority figure I don't know if that's a good gauge okay that like I don't know if physical capability is a good gauge for leadership so that, that's what I'm feeling here um uh, what I'm also feeling as well, you know, that that whole concept about the pot is boiling or um, everyone wants a piece of me. It just seems like everything is done for uh, like it's sort of like bells and whistles, you know, distractions. Everything is bells and whistles. It's, it's all just a facade. It's all done to pro project or por portray a specific type of an image while behind the scenes things are not what they seem 
okay and I, I feel like that's that's what it, it, it just feels like to me so um, stepping away from that imagery and that interpretation um, there is something else that I'm feeling here maybe this might apply to more people um, I'm feeling here about you know wanting people wanting to protect their families okay this is a father figure here king of wands looking at the four of wands his wife his family his children he is <clears throat> keeping watch he's not sleeping he's keeping watch he's 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 uh, looking over his children so there is a very strong um, concept of protecting what is mine okay taking care of my children first taking care of my family members first everyone else can wait I'm going to take care of what's mine, and then if I have energy left over, if I have resources, then I'm going to give it to everybody else. So it's almost like taking care of number one, but I feel like it's taking care of people that are close to us, people that are vulnerable, and especially people that we have emotional linkages to. So I feel like that's where this is coming into the picture. If you're dealing with another person, especially a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this is somebody that is willing to, they're, they're, they're bold, they're brave, they speak their truth, they speak from the heart, and they're not afraid to fight for the things that they believe in, okay? They're not afraid to, you know, take the first strike. They're not afraid to get their hands dirty to protect what's theirs. So there is a huge, immense, energy of um i want to protect what's mine okay so once again it, it's that whole concept about i want one i want a balloon i want um everyone wants a piece of me so i feel like the energy for this week it's really about gauging people's motives gauging people's motives um gauging what's really driving another actor to behave a certain way gauging what's really uh, driving a person to take a specific stance and especially I almost feel this concept it's like you know w when we're faced with an ally the most dangerous or the most um, cutthroat allies might be the ones that don't have a lot to lose so I feel like this reading is a little bit complicated, okay? And there are a lot of ideas kind of thrown about here. There's ideas about generosity and, and uh, selfishness. There are ideas here as well about, you know, ideolo ideological beliefs and what motivates or what drives a person and needing, I, I feel like for you Geminis, needing to understand what is their motivation so that I can co-opt them, okay? So that I can make a persuasive argument, which is something you're very good at, and then I can bring them to my side, okay? And then the third message here is definitely about this concept of aging, realizing our mortality, realizing that time is running out, realizing as well that it's a situation, and especially if you've been in a conflictual situation with another person, it's almost like somebody wanting to go to to come back into the fold somebody wanting to make amends somebody possibly begging and pleading for forgiveness or even for like hey come back in um, let, let's work this out let's negotiate let's um, let's uh, put aside this conflict this silliness because it doesn't really have a resolution or it doesn't really lead to anything but I also feel like deep down somebody wants to come into the fold or to, to be invited back in, but they are portraying an image of someone who's very stubborn, who's like, oh, I don't need you, you know, who's um, not, who, who's turning their back. So they feel one way, but their outright actions and demeanor indicates a different way indicates otherwise so while they want to compromise while they're feeling vulnerable and exposed and, and they feel like I need to make amends because time is running out their outward demeanor doesn't show any of that 
And so it's a very bipolar type of a reading, honestly, because I feel like there are a lot of ideas and concepts that are working kind of like in opposition to one another. And so I, I just feel like, you know, you're being torn in different directions. You have a lot of demands that are in place, imposed upon you. You're dealing with people who might be very, very self-serving as well, well, and they all want a piece of you. And you're just like, tell me something I don't know, you know? Uh, don't talk about your experiences personally. Talk to me about these greater, bigger uh, themes, how these actions are going to benefit, you know, everybody as a whole. So I feel like you're looking for bigger, broader concepts. You're looking to, you know, with this emperor energy, it's almost like um, he, he makes decisions for the greater good. He cannot be swayed by individual um, sob stories, okay? He makes decisions from a place where he feels like it's for the greater good. But at the same time, there is there were a lot of people, you know, a lot of little children all wanting the balloon and they swarm the man they climb on him and there's just this 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 free for all kind of scramble that you're just like no it's not gonna work you know if, if that's what it leads to that's just organized chaos it, it's there has to be a better way to do things and i feel like you might be wanting to arrive at a at a different way to do things it's not completely the best optimal way yet but for you, it's um, it's it's a manageable solution, okay? So that's what I'm feeling here. Um, let me see. We have here fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and we have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, if you have a, a a water sign in your environment, okay. This is somebody that you potentially could have a lot of uh, financial entanglements with. This is somebody that knows you in and out, okay? So they, they, they know the facade that you put out into the world, and they also know the vulnerabilities that you hide within. They see all the things that are kind of like um, hidden underneath, underneath the veneer, underneath the clothes, underneath everything that you try to hide, okay? Um, but this energy is somebody who's very pure who's very loving who's very forgiving and so i don't feel like you know they're going to use the the information against you even though they're privy to a lot of information um and especially they're privy to you know your your nakedness and your vulnerabilities if this is a relationship partner i feel like this is somebody that sees a lot more a lot more than they let on okay this is somebody that is very tolerant of your 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 flaws they're tolerant of everybody's flaws okay and uh they're they're very observant they're very intuitive they they are very aware that everyone has their fears their deepest darkest fears i feel like this is somebody that sees through the facade they see you know whatever image you put on they see everything behind the scenes they see the self-doubt they see the paranoia they see the you know whole concept of i'm very aware of uh, that you're worried about your mortality okay and uh, they they never make fun of you they never poke fun at it they never you know let on that they know and they would never use all this sacred information against you they would never use the sacred information against you. So if this is a relationship partner, it's somebody who's very, very, very beautiful. Okay, very trustworthy, very beautiful. And it's somebody that, you know, you can have a really long lasting friendship, future relationship or whatever you want with this person. Um, I have here a fire sign. This is somebody that is very, I feel, they, they they fight on an ideological level okay so they fight for the things that they believe in and I, I i also feel like there's a huge concept here about gemini stepping into that 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 role where you're morphing from an air sign into more like a fire sign where you fight for your beliefs where you stand your ground where you you um 
advocate for some type of a truth that that you know that you feel is is universal truth or is your truth uh fighting for to protect the people that you believe in and uh, or i'm sorry fighting to protect the things that you believe in and fighting for the people especially you know your uh, loved ones family and, and so forth that you care about so there's huge energy here about upping the ante taking things another step up and really really defending uh what we believe in but also vocalizing what it is that we are believing in and you know once again uh working hard or work finding a smarter way to do things rather than a more labor intensive time consuming way to do things okay so grab those balloons distribute them individually to each child rather than letting each child climb on your shoulders because your back will start to give out there is a smarter way to do things it doesn't have to be so arduous it doesn't have to be that painful and it doesn't have to be that conflictual okay um let me see here I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that uh, is coming through give me just a moment I'm seeing like um, this white banner it's, it's a cl cloth banner and it's kind of like uh, flapping in the winds you know how when there's like a, a military engagement right like a military um, like a, a battle a war or battle and people you know raise that white flag as a, a sign of submission we don't want to fight anymore we forfeit um, it, it looks like that but then the banner is a lot longer it's like this white banner just flapping in the wind and what I feel is um, it's almost like this five of swords energy you know the the five of swords it's like victory at what cause okay uh, like at what cost victory at what cost okay somebody walking away from a conflict and the other person it's like yes you you win you, you win this battle but at what cost to other people at what cost to your own dignity at what cost to your own image is what i'm sensing um, I'm gonna leave it at that Gemini I hope that it resonates uh, you know pieces of it. it it's it was a very difficult reading for me to get through there were a lot of ideas here um, so I hope it resonates and uh, best of luck to you guys for this month I'll be back in February and once again if you'd like to book a reading um, I am no longer giving readings but I do have someone I work with and if you could please you know check out her uh, scheduling webpage so that you can book a, an appointment for yourself okay um, I highly recommend her. Um, best of luck with everything. I'll talk to you guys soon.